Today we have our last couple of Sword and Shield items that we've yet to open on this channel, an Elite Trainer Box, and the new Collection 10. Jason's Poker Card Quest, Episode 27. Why are your pools better than mine? Hello everyone and welcome to Jason's Poker Card Quest and welcome back to those who have subscribed to this. Uh, today we're looking at the Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Box, uh, the Zama Zenta. Uh, we did open the Zacian one earlier, uh, about maybe three weeks back. Uh, we also have the newer uh, Collection Tin, uh, the Galar Tin, which got Zama Zenta and Zacian on the front and our three Galar Stars on the back. Um, so we're going to start with the Elite Trainer Box and dive right on in and see what's going on here. I can't imagine it's not too much different than the other one, and I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I don't wanna say I'm late to the party, but I'm late to the party. Um, but in the event that you haven't, of course you got your player's guide with your cards in there. Beautiful book. And then you've got your box which has got lovely gold cardboard. And all the goodies inside, of course, right? You've got your stack of energies. You've got your sleeves. You've got your dividers, uh, your poison and burn token, damage counters and die, and eight packs sword and shield. Hmm. Jump right on in and see what the pulls are like in here. I know Elite Trainer boxes tend to treat you a little bit better on pulls. I don't know if that's, in, hopefully that's intentional. Uh, I'm not thoroughly well versed on how they pack these things, but uh, I would hope with the premium price they would slip a couple bangers as Ando would say. A couple of really good pulls in here. Torquil V right off the bat. Getting ourselves an ultra rare on the first pack of the box. And I'm actually going in order if anybody, if there's any sort of elite trader box mapping. I don't think there is, but. You're welcome to the code cards. If you like code cards, hit the notification bell. Be one of the first ones to watch the video, grab them while you can, before someone else does. Certainly, subscribe to the channel. I do new Pokemon openings every Wednesday and Sunday evening. I release my videos at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every other Monday, we do a series called The Completionist Corner, where we're taking one set at a time, uh, looking at not only the set itself, but more uh, importantly, the... Uh, cards that contain the set symbol that are not obtainable through packs. So if you're interested in some of the history behind some of those, um, or just want to see uh, in a video format where those things come from, you're welcome to check those out. Again, every month, every other Monday, uh, I've done Sword and Shield, and I've done uh, Shining Legends thus far. And we're just kind of bouncing around. No particular order. Uh, you can always check the playlist for them uh, if that's something you're interested in. Got a playlist for those here somewhere. Baltoy, Chin Chow, Krabby, Energy Switch is the reverse, and a Lava Fed V. Ultra Rare. Just kind of pops out there. Two V Ultra Rares and uh, one Elite Trainer Box. Not too shabby, but I think one more really solid pull, like a full art. Um, you know, a gold card would be awesome. A little bit of gold to make this stay bright and shiny. Give you guys something to, to look at. Give me something to add to my binder. Uh, if you stick to the end of the video, I always have a set progress for any sets that are featured in that particular um, video. Uh, so you can see how far I am to completing uh, the full set, and that includes... Uh, the parallel sets, uh, which is all the reverse hollows, as well as um, any uh, promos that contain the set symbol. So your leak promos, um, your special reprints that come to collection boxes like the theme decks and all that stuff. All included in my percentage 
because that's how crazy obsessive I am when it comes to these kinds of things. I like to say we're collecting them all, of course, uh, until I win the lottery. Uh, I'm not going to get everything. But uh, one set at a time, one era at a time, little by little, and someday there may be, I don't know, the collection will only grow, right? So will the sets and so will the cards. Because this game has been around for 20, 20, 25 years, 20, 25 years, 30 years, 20, 96. So math is hard, folks, especially when you're recording stream of conscious and it's late. Your brain's not working. Brazilia and a Sandaconda. So that ETB was not terribly exciting for us, but uh, we got two Vs and uh, one hollow. I don't think I pulled any other hollows aside from that. Um, I've seen folks do better with them. A little bummed out at that, but maybe, just maybe, we can redeem ourselves with this cool collection box. Uh, and even if we don't redeem ourselves, I love the box, the launch box design, the artwork on the front and the back, and the sides. I think once I go back to work, if I take my lunch in here, people will make fun of me. No, because geek culture is really the world right now. All right, so right at the top, uh, we're getting, speaking of reprints, we're getting Starry Hollow versions of these cards, which are commons in the set themselves. Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. This is my favorite style of hollow foil pattern. I'm kind of bummed out that you don't find hollow foils in the, pa um, in the packs these ways anymore, uh, but it does make these promos really cool to look at. I'll pop this out later. I do love that coin with all three of them on there. So definitely awesome there. Uh, you get a Cosmic Eclipse. You get a Burning Shadows. You get an Evolutions. Because why not? Although that is my favorite XY set, so... Uh, you get two Swords and Shields. And then someone gets that. And... You get Stickers. Stickers, more stickers, a notepad. Wow, even more stickers. One of my daughter would like this. And a little binder. All right. That's a cool extra gack in there. All right, well, let's hope these five packs can treat us a little bit better than the ETB did. Uh, well, go chronological order, right? Let's go Evolutions first. Pull ourselves a Charizard. Maybe. That'd be nice. That would make this all worth it. There's, there it is. Right there. Premonition. Uh, double colorless. De evolution spray. Rotata. Volpix. Electabuzz. Magikarp. Ghastly. Onyx is the reverse. This is it. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Beedrill, non hollow. Perfect. Uh, Burning Shadows. Here we go. Uh, that's four. Yep, there they are. Grass, Semi Pore, Noctowl, Electabuzz, Pant Sage, Esper, Pikachu, Noibat, Dupider, Savitha. And a Butterfree non hollow. Wow. Really. Really hitting out of the park here. There's going to be absolutely nothing in this one. And that's upside down. The Porion, Tag Call, Delmise, Rowlet, Little Pup, Skill, Pikachu, Stuffle. Okay. We got ourselves a character card for Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy. I really want to know where they were in a meeting and said, let's name this Pokemon Wishy Washy. 
And everybody said, yes, that's a great idea. Oh. Someone out there wants to write a book on the origin of all the Pokemon names. Uh, I'd get it. Evolution Instant Vitality Band. That'd be a huge book, especially if you covered since day one. Be really interesting to do that kind of research. Sinaconda. I already got one of those. Is that going to be... Are we going to pull anything good? What a day. It's a sign of the times, folks. Times are rough. Poles are rough. Mencina. Larian Pony. Todd Cottony. Thanks, folks, for chilling out with me today. Uh, really do enjoy having you guys here. Hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Uh, it helps keep me going. And um, see you next time.